Darren here with Engadget. We're looking at the Lenovo IdeaPad K1. This will be available in 16 and 32 gig models, 3G or 3G Wi-Fi, uh, starting at 449. It's going to ship out uh, almost globally in uh, June, aiming for June 28th launch here. So you may see this form factor is familiar somewhat. Uh, the LePad is obviously it's based off that hardware wise so we're going to give you a tour around here the ports you'll see the uh, dock connector there mini hdmi and audio port um, here on the side we've got a card slot a lock switch volume rocker power um, there's the home button down there give you a shot here at the back it's a nice textured hard finish there's speakers down there at the bottom and then there's a, a 5 megapixel webcam there on the back and a 2 meg here on the front for video chats. So this tablet is going to launch with Android 3.1. Uh, you'll notice this uh, unique grid launcher here in the middle. This was developed by Lenovo, but you can turn this off if you so choose. Um, if you would like, you can customize any of these five. Uh, you can put a shortcut to a website you like. I mean, these are completely uh, customizable by the user. Uh, one other software tweak that's interesting here, Lenovo is going to be using this as a platform to launch the Lenovo App Shop. So this is, uh, this is another app store for Android, but it's a more curated one. They've, there'll be apps chosen in here, both free and paid, um, that are stable, robust. They basically meet Lenovo standards, so you don't have to really worry about if you're getting something that's uh, insecure or not. Um, this will be based on the Tegra 2 chipset. So one other software tweak I'd like to show you is this is uh, Social Touch. This is an app that Lenovo has developed and will ship with um, this IdeaPad K1. So this, in this example, it's pulling up uh, two email accounts, a calendar, Facebook, and Twitter. And you'll see this all uh, truncates together. It sort of consolidates all your social networking and messaging. If you'd like to go uh, just for Twitter here, we could go Recent Communications, and it'll pull up just the Twitter feed.